The Flover app Shield Routing creates shielding areas while interactively routing a trace. Side shields are created on the same layer and tandem shields are created on layer above or below the layer of the trace. You can either use the Add Connect mode for new traces or apply the settings to an existing C line. Shield parameters like width, gap, attached net name and shield geometry are specified in the control panel. When interactively routing, you get a dynamic preview of the trace and its shields. Even complex tandem shield structures with dynamic shapes and keep outs can be specified for each layer in the advanced setting. If you want to shield a trace between two RF connectors, you enter your values for the gap and width for the shield and assign a net name for the dynamic shape. While interactive routing, you can use the snap functionality as well as oops or toggle command like in the standard PCB editor behavior. When finishing the connection, all shapes will be created. The second mode is the Select CLAN mode. If we do not change the parameters, we only need to click onto the C-Line and the shields will be generated. In this mode, you also can update the settings. In example, if you want to use the gap value from the Constraint Manager or you want to change the width of the tandem shield for the first inner layer from 4 to 4.5. You see the tandem shield on layer 2 and the side shield on layer 1. In advanced mode you can specify for each layer of your stack up what parameters shall be used. These values can be entered manually or you can use the export and import functionality to reuse existing settings. Here we are creating shields with different width per layer. Parameters are stored in the board database for each shield. This enables an update after you did manual changes to your net just selecting the update functionality and selecting the trace. Shield routing even works for complex structures or traces. In the context menu, you create a temp group and shields will be created for the selected group. When you want to create shields for a second trace, with the same settings like it was used for another trace before, you just click on the probe to copy the settings from the database and select the target C-line to create shields with the same settings. And last not least, you can delete applied shields with just one mouse click.